You made the word Halloween. Yay! I got yellow and red, and then the power tune is red, I think. I can't, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Always Gryffindor colors. What? I got a boo boo. I don't even like, I was just sewing, and then it like, I don't even remember what happened. Well, we did it. We did it, I guess we're calling it Tannerite's Ranch. Yeah. <laughs> First time, it's officially ours. Official, let's go check it out. Well, we did it. We did it, we've been working for a while at this. And it's so exciting to have a place for our family. Um, just so you guys know, you may have seen a couple vlogs ago, probably a couple weeks ago, and then a couple weeks before that. As we were charged by our family, it was something that we would talk with our family about. Finding a place to gather, finding a place to gather for the next five, 10, 15, 20, 40 years. And um, that's what this place is. This place is a, is a, it's a gathering place for the family and um, a place to just build memories and, and a place for, the, our, for our kids and their kids, um, for our kids' kids to get to know each other and to keep in, in touch and, and um, just have a place for them to, to be able to do that. We have found over the years that a house is a great place to raise a family, but it's not a great place to gather as families get older and bigger and bigger. Um, it, it becomes more and more difficult. But a place that's like out in the wild, I guess, out away from everything, is a good place to gather. And uh, gathering is, as coronavirus would call it, not a highly uh, um, smart thing to be doing right now, but that two shall soon pass and gathering will once again become something that um, that everybody does again whether it be football games or or I mean you name it people love to gather and um, that's what the name together kind of, I don't know maybe to gather together <laughs> anyway we're just so excited that we we found this opportunity and that it's working out and um, we'll just have to work really hard to make it to keep it stick around, uh, keep it around. So, and uh, anyway, yeah. we'll show you, show you guys more later. Sorry, it was getting dark as we pulled in there, and we wanted to get the drone up and get some shots and stuff. So, we'll show more of of the. Uh, I guess we're calling it Tannerites Ranch. Yeah. So. Yeah. It's pretty fun. Mim does not want to go to bed. No, oh, Mim Kitty is like <laughs> no, literally like no. Look how cute this is, you guys. Look, my little sister made this for me and it has real flowers and it's a real life pumpkin. So she just carved out, she took off the top and carved out the pumpkin and then put a soup can inside and put the flowers in and then gave it to me. Isn't that so cute? I, I like love it. it. Never, I probably need some water. Oh, that's perfect. And then you're gonna go this way? Is that what you wanna do? Yes. Okay, so tell me what the next one would be. Halloween. 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 What do you think the next letter is? <laughs> I think it's this one. What is that called? Egg. That's right. Good job. That is right. <laughs> you made the word Halloween. Yay! Now you okay. can put the rest look, of the stickers on look. the bottom. Halloween. Good job. Now yeah, you can put yeah. stickers all around wherever you want them now. This is gonna be it. <laughs> A cool one, okay. I got something that you're gonna- I was trying to film a video and put things together and she said, you have to get the camera. I said, you get the camera. And she said, no, you have to get the camera. I said, yeah, get the camera. And she said, no, you have to get the camera. I said, I'm doing stuff. And then she said, fine, I'm not gonna show you. I'm not. But you have to know because I got the All camera. Alright, fine. You're going to love me now. Sweet. See, do you love me? Yeah. I'm glad you I love me. I said I didn't love you. I said you're mean. Oh. Well, you better <laughs> love me even if I don't I love you. I love you. Real infused raspberry puree. Oh, I love you. Good. I already did, but you were just being mean. I was surprising you. Okay. That, but you I couldn't. I was surprising you. <laughs> you could. I was surprising you. 
Surprise! Get behind all of that stuff and got the camera. <laughs> Don't I'm not surprising that. you anymore. What? Don't be mean. <laughs> You're being mean. I'm not. Uh oh. That's not good. I think there's a puncture hole in this tire. Uh oh, where is it? It's pretty low. I don't see it. Oh, maybe right there. I'm You're not right crying. There. You're <laughs> crying. <laughs> I'm not crying. You're not. My eyes are burning, but I'm not crying You're yet. Not crying. Am I crying? Elon's <laughs> crying. <laughs> Look at my eyes. Are you serious? <laughs> I'm not crying. Are you crying, Giga? My eyes are watering. <laughs> then you're crying. Are you crying? Why are you rubbing your eyes? Because there's onion in my mouth. Oh, that's there's what it onion. is. Nemo's crying. Wow, your, your <laughs> nose is red and everything. You're crying. I know, this is bad. <laughs> Whenever you're upset and crying about something, just go cut onions and that's a good excuse. So, <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Okay, so I brought this um, into them earlier and they decided not to use it, but I should have. Whole bag of goggles. <laughs> oh. Right here. How do I know? I showed them to Sarah, so it's her fault yeah, if you I guys didn't, didn't use I them. I didn't put the two together. Ooh. I was talking and cutting, and I didn't even yeah, put them together. Yeah, where's your goggles, Johnny? Potent onions. What? Where's your goggles? Mine are outside where I'm going to go. I'm leaving. I'm out of here. These guys are no fun to hang out with. <laughs> Oh. to pull your teeth together? Yep. What colors did you get? I got yellow and red, and then the power train is red, I think. I can't, yep. I don't know. <laughs> Always Huffle, or Gryffindor colors. I got Gryffindor colors for me being her money for Halloween. Oh, that makes sense. I gotta match my Halloween costume. All right, so Savannah got a lot of candy for going to the orthodontist I today. Did. <laughs> candy bar and and Johnny just got some relief for a couple of weeks. Yeah, so I'll, I'll just wear this the tray that I've been using, the, the last one, which is thicker. It's a much thicker one, mm -hmm. but there's no nubs to push the teeth around, so it's gonna be a lot more, I don't know, it's gonna be interesting. Oh, he's hiding in the corner now? Can you see it? Oh, it's right, right there. There we go. It's right there. It's where? It's, isn't that, oh, that's not even what I thought it was. Oh. Don't! <laughs> Drop it. Where did it go? On my leg. Way to it's go, you shouldn't use something that... What? Why didn't you just squish it with your finger or something? I'm not scared of spiders if I'm in control, but I'm not in control right now. <laughs> Johnny actually got bit by, was it a spider the I other day? I think it was a spider. And his, on his belly, he got bit like three times by a spider, and so. It was one of these little punk spiders. Where is it? <laughs> look at that spider web right there, I think it's. Look at that spider web, you see it? Where? Right here. Oh yeah, That's, is that hooked to it? So if I smashed it with this, then it didn't smash it because it's con. I told ya. Smash it with something flat. <laughs> I just threatened to kill it. I threatened to kill it, so now it's gonna kill me. I don't want to get it again. That's st that stuck around last time for how many days? I don't know. Lots of days. I gotta show you something. What? I got a boo boo. Come on, sweetie. What? I accidentally sewed, sewed my your finger. finger. <laughs> Seriously, Allie, you know uh, where the sewing needle goes? I do, and I kind it of goes in the thread, not broke in. Broke your needle with my finger. Seriously. What? Let me see. 
I didn't try. I don't even like. I don't even remember. Oh, thanks. Wait, can I see it? Don't touch it. It's so oh. burst and hurt. Ew. I don't even like. I was just sewing, and then it like. I don't even remember what happened. It just was there because I've never sewn my finger before because I know how to use a sewing machine. But I guess like. I spazzed or did something. I don't even like remember. I just remember sewing and then the needle was broken and I looked and my finger was cut and I was like, what? That's my boo-boo, guys. First sewing accident ever. I sewed my finger. I guess that's what happens when you sew for all day long. through that door. I didn't have to, but I chose to go through that door um, right there to go turn off the lights outside. And she thought, oh, it's so nice to see you. She got out of her bed and stretched. And then I put her back to in her bed and she was like, come on, man. I thought we were going to be friends and play. It's too late for that, ma'am. I'm sorry. You saw earlier that I went and I turned on the system for the pool. Uh, we got to get ready for Az's baptism coming up. And that's as far as I got. I turned the system on, literally. Um, I had every intention of going back there and working for like five hours today. It didn't happen. Zero hours got worked after I left the other house. And um, so I was a little bit discouraged that I didn't uh, finish what I'd started. And then I had to get my head back into the right mode and go, you know what, it is absolutely okay. Um, sometimes we, can really put ourselves into a, a real mess and um, have some anxiety even kick in if we expect things to go exactly the way that we planned. And uh, most of the times, nothing goes as planned. So we have to just kind of just get into a mode of, okay, we can work through changes. We can work through, um, work with any, we can work, work through anything. And so, Life is not always exactly the way that we want it to go, nor is the way that, we, that it goes always terrible. Um, so anyway, things went great today. Just didn't get done with what I wanted to get done with, and that is okay. I'm not gonna let it bother me. I'll just get up tomorrow and make it happen, right? Guys, thank you so much for all of your support. We've, um, we've had a lot of people reach out to us recently and just let us know that they um, are sorry, number one, for uh, the flood and some of the things that have happened to us lately, which is highly appreciated. We, we totally love that um, We have that connection with you. But the other thing is uh, we've had a lot of people reach out and tell us how much the message of value of You are worth it means to them and um, some who have said that they've uh, Taken that message and given it to someone who's strug struggling um, and some who've said I'm, I've been struggling and I just needed this message and it helped me just think a little bit differently and um, try to move forward in life a little better and it's actually helped. So that's why we um, have that message. That's why we really build everything that we do around that message. And we just don't want you to forget that because we don't want to forget it. I love you guys. Never forget. And yes, I'm talking to you. You are worth it. Yeah.